Alright, in this video we are going to use the area model and the number line to uh, be able to compare two different fractions to figure out which fraction is bigger and which fraction is smaller. So let's get started. So if we wanted to know um, which fraction was bigger, 3 eighths or 5 eighths, a couple of ways we could do it. One, we could draw an area model, or the other way we could do is draw a number line. So let's start with the area model. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing two identical rectangles. So <laughs> let's pretend that's a, a nice, perfect rectangle. And uh, let's duplicate that, baby. And there we go. And so now I have two identical rectangles. And let's draw what is 3 eighths. So what is 3 eighths going to look like? Well, I'm going to cut it into eight pieces. There's my eight pieces. And 3 eighths would look like one, two, three. And then let's do the same thing for 5 eighths. So 5 eighths would look like, cut it into eight pieces, identical pieces, that's the denominator. And then I'm going to shade in five of them, one, two, three, four, five. And it's now easy to compare. I can see that five eighths is larger than three eighths because I can see that there's more shaded in than the three eighths. Now, if I wanted to, I could, uh, I could have used a number line. So what would a number line look like? All right, so a number line, uh, let's see, I'm going to draw the number line down here. And so let's say, all right, there's our zero. And I can say there's our one. And uh, actually, since we're going to, we know we're going to need to have two of them. So let me just duplicate that baby right now. And I'll move it down here. All right, so now I have two identical number lines and three eighths to represent three eighths on a number line. I'm going to cut that hole from zero to one into eight equal sized pieces. And then three eighths says one, two, three to move over three pieces. And then five eighths is basically the same process. I'm going to start by cutting it into eight equal sized pieces. And then five eighths says move over five of those pieces. And there's five eighths. And there's three eighths. And so I can see that five eighths is longer than three eighths. And that's how you can use an area model or a number line to compare these two fractions. So let's do the same thing here, um, only this time we have two-thirds and two-fifths, all right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle to represent two-thirds and the same size rectangle to represent two-fifths, all right? So that's, you always have to have the same whole in order to compare these fractions. Like if this rectangle was uh, shorter than this rectangle, that's not a fair comparison. So you have to have equal sized um, rectangles in order to start. So, so now to show two thirds, I'm going to cut this into three equal sized pieces and I'm gonna shade in two of them because that's what two thirds means, all right? So there is my Two thirds. Now I'm going to down here, I'm going to cut it into fifths because the denominator is five and I'm going to shade in two of them. So fifths, let's see, I don't know what is fifths going to look like. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's pretty close. I'm trying to cut them into five equal size pieces and then I'm supposed to shade in two of them because my numerator is two and I can see. Uh, compared to two-thirds and two-fifths, I can see that two-thirds is definitely more than two-fifths. Two-thirds is more. Two-thirds is greater than uh, two-fifths. Yay! All right. 
Now, if I wanted to do the number line model, well, that's pretty straightforward. All I have to do is draw identical number lines. So let's do zero and, oh, let's make one right here. All right, so now if I want, I need to duplicate it because I need two of them. And I'm gonna represent two thirds up here. And I'm gonna represent two fifths down here. So on this number line to represent two thirds, I need to cut it into three equal size pieces. So I'm gonna use two lines to cut that number line from zero to one into three equal size pieces. Boy, I didn't do a good job of drawing these as equal pieces, but close enough. And I can see that two thirds, one, two, is gonna live right there. So that's where two thirds is. Now down here, two fifths, I know I need to cut it into five equal sized pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And then to decide where two fifths lives, I'm gonna move over two intervals. One, two, and there is my two fifths. And again, I can see that the, the arcs, the length for two thirds is longer than the length for two fifths. So two thirds is greater than two fifths. And that wrap, uh, wraps up, represents, I was what I was gonna say, that ends up or wraps up our video on how to use the area model or the number line to compare two different fractions.